right okay we're uh, up on the on the field I got the uh, the Hoppy King 600 this uh, this baby's done at least well we, we talk, must be talking 150 50 ish flights now I uh, have to work that out properly it's got to be in the region of, of, of that by now uh, we're up here today uh, I'm just testing out this new hat cam this is the this Hobby King uh, wing camera uh, it's supposed to be recording HD quality footage uh, at 720p uh, it's got a 8 gigabyte class 10 uh, SD card in it which I'm assured should provide me with uh, stutter free uh, video so we're gonna we're gonna test that but our main reason for being up here today is uh, is to test out what I'm calling the the gain buddy circuit if you can see that there but this is feeding a an onboard gain if you like to this 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 assassin assassin uh, GA250 gyro uh, but I'm only using a DX6 uh, and I have the uh, the fly mentor the KDS fly mentor uh, fitted under there uh, and I want to be able to switch that off and on I want to be able to do the balance modes the uh, the positioning mode and be able to switch it off and use an external gyro uh, I want to be able to do that because I'm going to do some tests later which I shall video uh, using a HK 401B on the back uh, a GA250 on the back the internal uh, tail gyro that comes with a fly mentor just so we can see some some differences between the two but to do that with my DXXI I've got to I've got to be able to create a uh, a true gain signal uh, and be able to set, set the, the, the gyro up correctly uh, I'm going to video it slight risk assessment here because the, this is a public place so I'll have to make sure there's nobody around and I'll have to make sure that uh, that if that I keep keep flying low, and if somebody comes, I'll have to obviously land uh, as soon as possible. Uh, the, the helicopter shouldn't go out of control itself, but it might start to spin into a, into a permanent pyro uh, should should this device fail. It's done several, well, quite a few prototype testing where it's been been flying around with with a with a dummy servo, if you like, attached to it, which wasn't actually doing anything. Uh, and it's done done lots of flights like that, and it's always come back down, and it's and it's been working okay. Uh, so we're gonna have to see how this goes. Okay, I've got me uh, got me DX6 I switched on. It's on throttle hold. So let's uh, let's connect up the servos. Okay, we can see the uh, the gyro's got a nice blue signal there, which is showing it's in headlock mode. Do it. Still nobody, nobody around at the moment. So let's uh, take this up. I've done all my pre-flight checks already. I've looked at all the links, obviously, and and checked these. Uh, check, checked all the back blades. So we should be should be ready to rock and roll, really. On that, it's a little bit cold up here today. It's about uh, about three degrees. Uh, about minus minus six or, or something in the night so it's uh, still, still some frost on the ground not much wind though quite, quite a still day we've got the right movement here on the sticks for the for the back and if I pick this up just check it's in headlock mode yes as I move the tail away it moves away and that moves towards in towards so the opposite direction if you like it's moving the opposite that means the gyro is working correctly Okay, still on, on throttle hold at the minute. Let's check the collective. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Still nobody around. Right, we've got a motorbike up there, so be a bit careful. We're just going to take it steady for now. See what happens. Quite a few. We're going to just wait for these motorcycles to go past the thing. So they don't wander over because you know what people are like. That's great, they're going away. Brilliant, let's go for it. Switch on my timer. Check that again. Yeah, seems to be working okay. Still nobody around. Okay, we go.
holding still. Be okay. Bring it across from the light a bit here for you guys, because uh, I assume that sun's playing havoc. A little bit keen. Oh yeah. It's uh, quite nice. It's holding quite steady. I get it too close to me, of course, at the minute. So let's just uh, keep it away a little bit, just in case. It's quite low, just have to hit the throttle hold. Not do too much, too much banking. We are using the uh, the fly mentor here, to, in case we do get the uh, get the pyro. A little bit worrying that, that the pyros are quite fast, so I'm not quite sure what it would do. But the idea is I'd have to throttle hold it while it was doing that, and see if I could somehow bring it down to land. Uh, Seems to fly pretty pretty well. Although there's no wind today, which is which is a little bit a little bit concerning to be fair, because since I can't really give it a full test. Uh, just just for those wondering what the fly mentor does, I just flick it on onto idle up. Okay. The, the idea of the, the, the fly mentor is basically when I when I push forward and let go, it tries to right itself. I've got it set very high at the moment. It's running. You know, it just slowly as I let go of the sticks, just tries to pull it back to self, self level. Uh, so if I let go of the sticks, let go of the stick, let go of the stick, and it just brings itself back like that. Basically, that's all the fly mentor does. This is actually going quite well. Being a little bit gentle with it because I'm expecting the tail to kick or do something like that. That, that is me, by the way with that game buddy on there just taking my time I can see a person in the bottom corner so I'm just going to land out of idle up keep it low just going to check around me make sure everything's okay there's nobody in okay let's uh, just bring in the land just in case that dog comes running up I'm just giving that I am prototyping Seem to seem to fly okay. I got throttle hold on at the moment, so approach the helicopter. Engines are running okay. Gyro still on the connected correctly. Nice red light on the game buddy circuit there at the back. Uh, got this assassin gyro connected to the uh, the blue arrow. Uh, I think it's say an MG five double zero one one. Uh, you can see the uh, you can see the, uh, the the swash there pulsing with the uh, with the fly mentor. Uh, the guy's walking away from me. Luckily, I think we're going to take that back up and, and, and carry on. I failed to uh, failed to stop the countdown timer there, but I suppose that won't matter. We've got four batches up here with us today. Let's uh, let's, t let's take that back up. I think. I don't know how the uh, how the wing camera's recording this. I hope it's looking okay. I'm gonna have to control that down a bit. That's a little bit too uh, that's a little bit too harsh for me. Is that? I don't quite like that. Like that. It's a little bit too uh, too keen. But it does show that the uh, the ability, if you like, of the uh, of the Asan uh, GA250. That's a little bit too high. So I'm on uh, I'm on prototyping. So I ought to just bring it down a little bit lower just in case it decides to uh, go off into those power lines over there. Like I said earlier, I think that the risk assessment here is that uh, the, the, the hell itself wouldn't lose complete control, but it would probably just go into uh, to unbelievably fast pyros. I'd have to try and auto down and land it on its skid. The fly mentor there is just hopefully going to keep it nice and level for me, should that happen. Uh, allowing me to at least bring down onto its skids as you saw when I auto rotated that earlier uh, you could probably get it so it's almost stopped those blades before it actually bottomed onto the ground so hopefully it wouldn't tip over it takes a bit of practice but 
If I get any use of that speed, actually, that, that's, that's, that's actually not, not that bad. I'm bringing it too above my head just in case it does decide to uh, die. Get a bit of. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad. Probably switch that uh, that countdown timer back on there, really. That's it, just checking what mode I'm in there. I went. It's flying beautifully backwards, I have to say. Beautiful, that. A little bit too high again for the old uh, prototyping. Carrying away, really. Carried away. I think I'm going to probably land it at that, to be fair. Take it out of, out of idle up. Let's bring it back in yet. A little bit of. Okay, I think I'll probably land that because I don't want to. I don't want to push push this battery too hard, really. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay, so hopefully that's the game, buddy. That's pretty good. So basically what that allows me to do, if we just, uh, if we just drop this off actually, on the kit box. Just uh, talk through what that actually allow allows me to do uh, using the DX6i and the Fly Mentor. It's uh, allowing me there to control a, a an external gyro if you like, uh, but also allows me to pull this black wire so that my motor can't kick in so basically using using these switches here and then you can I don't know if you can see this but there's a, there's a green light on down there so I can flick this one here which puts it into balance mode or I can actually flick it off here so, it's, so this is a uh, fly mentor on position mode or balance mode Fly mentor off. So the idea is, if if, uh, if anything happens and anything goes wrong, and you're flying away and you need you need your fly mentor, you just push 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 your flick your switch up. If all all else goes fails, you can just pull this pull this finger up here, and uh, that that puts that that switches on onto throttle hold, and allows you to auto auto pilot down if you if you can. So that's it. Uh, hope you found that interesting. Uh, I'll go home and review the footage. I think I'll fly these other four batches off I've got up here today. Uh, that'll be great. Thank you.